After the attack on Chen Kang, we destroyed Wu at Baidi Castle. All that remained in my husband's plan for the Three Kingdoms was to defeat Wei at the Wuzheng Plains. The supply routes will determine the fate of this battle. I have labored long and hard in order to protect them. I hope that we may be able to overcome any adversities. I will give everything I have in the Wuzheng Plains. Witness the glory of the dragon's wife. I shall ascend to the skies like my husband. The day has finally come for us to face Wei. The stage for this final battle has been set at the Wuzheng Plains. That is where we shall come to realize Master Liu Bei's dying wish. The enemy fears our spirit for this upcoming battle and has done all they can to strengthen their defenses. We must keep our supply lines intact and use our provisions wisely in order to overrun the enemy position. During this long battle, many capable people have given their lives. Yue Ying, you must survive these chaotic times. Together, we can embark on a new era. This is it. Here at Wu Zhang, our long-standing battle with Wei shall come to an end. It's just as I foretold. However, the road getting here was even more difficult than I had imagined. Prime Minister! Let us go. The time has come for us to unite the land. This battle is fated to be my last. Therefore, I must use it to fulfill my master's wish. We can end this quickly if we protect the supply. This is how I'm to meet my end. Enemy officer defeated. My lady, preparations are complete as ordered. We should have no trouble escaping danger with these wood oxen on our side. We will win this battle, and a new era of peace will be born.
I'll be your opponent. <laughs> our defenses and prepare for the enemy attack. <laughs> Don't think you'll get away with that. Attack! Follow me! Oh, is this the end? Enemy officer defeated! It's over already. Enemy officer defeated. You should know who you're dealing with. Not enough! Enemy officer defeated! them!
what you ordered. Ah, this will change the tide of battle. Enemy officer defeated. Oh, is this the end? Enemy officer defeated. <laughs> Just because we're supplies doesn't mean we can't fight. The catapults are ready, sir! Fire! Fire at will! Leave not a single enemy soldier alive! Think I'm stupid. Increase pace. It'll take more than just you to stop me. Can I get my phone? Have you lost your mind? to be my final battle. Enemy officer defeated.
no use all the pain. Enemy officer defeated. Oh, such an impressive skill. Trying to take the base! Stop them! That's as far as you go! Eat this! I shall show no mercy. Death. It's over already. Enemy officer defeated. Unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated. <laughs> Fool! You have just chosen the path to your own death. You should have kept a better eye on me. You should have done that in the first place. by an imbecile like you! Such foolish times to not make use of my talents. Enemy officer defeated!
we were able to emerge victorious from the battle with Wei. It would seem that Sima Yi was no match for me. Such a pitiful ending. It has been many years since Liu Bei's three visits and my plan of forming one of three kingdoms. The world that I foresaw has finally arrived. The land from here on shall be one that is formed by the people. A new bodyguard has come to- This bodyguard is known throughout the land as a brilliant youth. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Yue Ying, daughter of Wang Chengyan, a brilliant young woman, Yue Ying excelled in both the martial arts and academics. She was known for her inventions and mechanical puppets, which amazed all those who saw them. Her father considered Zhu Ge Liang to be a good enough match for his daughter and arranged for their meeting. Zhu Ge Liang took interest in her the moment he heard of her genius and the two quickly married. When Zhu Ge Liang became Liu Bei's strategist, Yue Ying also came to join Xu. She contributed a great deal on the battlefield with her inventions and helped her husband with many of his strategies. Zhu Ge Liang went south to conquer Nanjong, but experienced difficulty engaging the Nanman tribes there. This is when Yue Ying introduced her new juggernaut invention. The fire-spewing juggernaut frightened and overwhelmed the enemy tribes. During the Battle of Wuzhang Plains, Zhu Ge Liang was concerned for the safety of his supply line. Yue Ying resolved the problem by promoting her new wood ox to strengthen the supply lines. As a result, Zhu Ge Liang could focus on his strategy without worry. After Liu Bei's death, Xu's fate was in the hands of Zhu Ge Liang. His wife supported him with her intellect and love. The two would live happily ever after in a new era of peace. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and continue to fascinate their listeners even today. In this chaos, there is one thing that I have learned. Strength and intellect, husband and wife, 
all in this world is made up of opposites. I am grateful, Yue Ying. I am truly blessed to have you here with me, at my side. Our destiny, it lies ahead of us. Let us go, together.